Woohoo! Alright, how's everybody doing tonight? <clears throat> well, we're still getting rain about twice a week. Of course, we're not near as bad off as Nebraska. Nebraska's, <clears throat> they're pretty flooded. But, uh, anyhow, here we go. Uh, I have got some, uh, a boring bar and, uh, some cutters, some other tooling for the heads. Uh, I have never bored a block I, uh, until tonight. I took a junk block that I've got to kind of set it up and kind of see how the boring bar works. I've never been showed this. I've watched a couple on YouTube, uh, but all they do is kind of show what I'm getting ready to do. They don't show the setup. They don't show how to set the cutters. They don't show you jack, scrap, nothing. So, I'm winging it. Uh, but anyway, I did the scrap block and I checked it with the bearing and it was nice and snug. So, uh, you know, it popped out like it should with a little resistance. Uh, it felt like it seated real good, so I've got a customer block. So I guess if I mess it up, I just give him one of my spare blocks. So anyway, here we go. Time to wing it. I wasn't too wild about the sound of that. Right there at the end. Looks like it actually cut alright though. Actually it does. It looks pretty good really. Looks like there's a little bit of a Right there. All right, let's see if I can bring this over without making it too shaky. Take it off the stand. Well, come in here and see if, see if I can see what I'm seeing here. Yeah, we got that. Uh, get the light turned around there. That actually looks good. See, I've got a little ring. So you can see just on the front edge of that one, that's got a little ring right there on it. So I'm going to have to take it apart and see what that is. But the rest of them all look real good. This was... Uh, 40 I think is what this was I set a 20 in it the other bar set up for 20 and I set it in there with just a case half I just sat there and just kind of turned it and the cutter on it wasn't even touching so I figured well we just go 40 on this and be done with it anyhow yippee ki yay right quick I guess I'll go over some of this other stuff. I've got a couple pieces of plate here set up. This is uh, nine, nine and a half degrees, thereabouts. I'm setting it up with my uh, TGNP rod right there. 
guide net. I'm not going to go down in it. Let's see. Um, and that's not even lined up quite straight. But you can see how that's kind of pushing to the side. But anyways, you get the idea. That's what I'm trying to get. This here all set. I've got my, got my gauge set there. It's about right at 9 degrees. So anyway, trying to get this all set, and then I'll tack weld this thing in place. So that way I don't have to move the table. I can just set this plate on here, clamp it on, take him heads, slide it across, do that, and I'm done. And I made a torque plate over here. That way I can slide the head down on there. These are my hold down bolts. Goes on the end, slide the head down on here. I've got clamps I can put on here. So I set the head on it. I've got the Deanberg torque plate. Slide it down over the head. And we've got the cutter. The fly cutter goes down over top of that. I just ordered. Um, Put this back over. Here's the universal one that you get. The universal, and you drop feeler gauges. You drop feeler gauges down in there inside your cylinder. This actually should be in the cylinder in the head, but you get the idea. Because you're checking, you know, you set it, you kind of snug your bolts, you spin the cutter. You kind of do that there. You kind of wiggle it around until that's good and centered all the way around. Okay, that works. Time consuming and a pain in the butt. So, I ordered, uh, found these and got these. This is, if I can focus, 85.5 head. Look at that name on that. Can you see it? No? Anyway, Gene Bird. They've got those for the block. And the one in there is, if you can see it, it says case. That way, and see, they've got a, have uh, got a taper to them. You set them on there. You slide that down on there, and that self-centers the fly cutter. There's no feeler gauge, there's no nothing. It's a positive. And you set her on there like that, set her down, tighten it up, snug it, spin it in the hole, make sure it's good, then you tighten it up, and you're done. There's no guessing, no guesswork, no nothing. <clears throat> oh, I'm trying to think of what else I got here. I think that's about it. A whole lot of stuff going on. That's a customer's block I just did right there. That's my junk block I done uh, to practice on. And this is my cousin's engine out of my cousin's that yellow beetle. And I guess I lots of customers parts. Elise, there's a wife car. There's that. I got a bunch of parts on a shelf in the other room. There's Kelly's stuff. I'm busy and the weather has been just terrible to even be out here. Anyway, everybody have a uh, have a wonderful e weekend or wonderful week. I guess it is Monday. I guess that's about all I can say other than uh, VW Mountain Man over and out.